I feel very, very honored that the IEEE has recognized me last year and this year, and, and I guess it's because they must uh, feel that these, the things I've done really has had some impact on the real world, which I find very gratifying, because that's my goal. Wow, well, I mean, he's had contributions uh, for database uh, theory that have changed the field. His fourth normal form, uh, which is widely used, it in encapsulated the intuition that a database schema, uh, that you should not have um, unrelated data stored in the same table. Recently named an IBM fellow, he is also a fellow of the IEEE and AAAS. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Ronald Bacon. I transferred to IBM San Jose uh, from uh, IBM on the, on the East Coast. And when I transferred, I sort of looked around and said, okay, who's interesting around here? Who would be a fun person to work with? And I ran into Ted Codd. And I thought, oh, now there's an interesting guy. I mean, there's a lot of interesting people, but he seemed especially interesting. And uh, Ted Codd is the father of relational databases. He won the Turing Award later on for his work. So. So I got very involved in working in databases with Ted Codd, and that was extremely rewarding. He was a great mentor for me, and, uh, and he gave me some ideas about interesting directions I might pursue, and so I just followed my nose, and, and, and it, I guess it worked. Well, IBM is a wonderful place to work. There's so many exciting things going on. There's so many smart people around. There's so many interesting things, nice, interesting visitors. I can't imagine a better place to work. I feel extremely honored that IBM chose to make me an IBM Fellow. Uh, it's a very rare thing. I think there's something like 75 or something like that right now. There's been something like 200 in the history of IBM. So I feel just really, really honored that IBM put me in that very, very select company. In the field of, of searching, he's made significant contributions to how you do what we'd call fuzzy searches. How would you search image data and uh, be able to uh, come up with results, uh, things that otherwise we didn't think were searchable. My passion is, I have a, a PhD in mathematics. What I really enjoy doing is uh, developing theories and that, that have some kind of interesting application to the real world. I feel like my career, uh, I feel like the real high in my career was when I realized what to work on, when I realized working on databases was an important area. And as I mentioned, I got involved in databases because I started working with Ted Codd. Before that, I did other work that was kind of disappointing to me because even though it seemed somewhat relevant, nobody ever referenced my work. And that was really disappointing that no one seemed to care what I was doing. And then I got into databases and then it was like magic all of a sudden. When I was in uh, junior high school, I think it was eighth grade, I took a, a math class, a geometry class. And I was amazed. To me, mathematics before that had been memorizing tables, memorizing addition and multiplication tables and so on. And suddenly I found out that what real mathematics was, was proving theorems to try and derive some truths. And I thought, this is really amazing. And so I knew from that point on, that's what I want to do the rest of my life. I went on to uh, major in math in, uh, in college and I got a PhD in math at Berkeley. Dr. Fagan has done important work in extensible hashing and he has a classic paper, uh, I believe it was in 1979, that is often cited on the idea of extensible hashing. This was my dream. My dream was to do mathematics and the funny thing is I didn't know how I would do it. When I decided I wanted to do it, I had no clue what it meant to do mathematics in the real world and I even ordered these little publications like, so you want to be a mathematician and they talk about things like figuring out uh, insurance tables. And I thought, oh man, that doesn't sound very like, fun to me. And uh, it, only to, it wasn't really until when I was in graduate school and 
started finding out what the real world was like out there when I started to apply for jobs that I realized, oh, you can really do research. I mean, there are people out there who really will give you money to, to do what you love to do anyway, which is doing, doing uh, technical research. The very first thing I did when I won the award was go look up who else has won this award. And, and I saw names like John Backus, Seymour Cray, Jean Amdahl, Fred Brooks, Gordon Moore, Donald Knuth, Tim Berners-Lee, and I thought, whoa! So anyway, I'm very, very honored to be even in the same breath as such distinguished company. I talk to young mathematicians all the time, not all the time, but, but people uh, call me up because I try to be accessible and they say, what's it like? And, and um, encourage mathematics, uh, people study mathematics. I think if you do mathematics, you can do anything. Dr. Fagan has contributed significantly, not only to um, how you would store some of the information, but also in how you perform search and how we do search fast and efficiently on vast amounts of data really today relies on a lot of the techniques that Dr. Fagan has developed. I'm very honored by the IEEE both last year and this year giving me these very uh, prestigious awards. I feel very grateful and, uh, and happy that they recognize my work. It's exciting when people do say what you're doing is good, even though I believe it in my heart, it's good and I enjoy doing it. It's still nice to have someone on the outside say, you've done good.